stick around if you want to learn how to easily hang things on your wall without ever leaving a mark, without ever having to go to the store, without ever having to spend any money. Literally, you don't have to spend any money. You can literally use the things that are laying around in your house. Hello, Mayday family. How are you guys doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is May. I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. The last place that I was living, when I moved out two years later, it was a mess because I had used all these nails and used all these things. And whenever I took it down, then I had to go to Home Depot and find the tools because I had to like plug in the holes and it looked it didn't look great afterwards, but I'd say I did a pretty good job. The, the apartment people probably feel differently. But anyways, so I'm left with this issue of like, what do I do? So I came up with a really nifty way of hanging things on your wall without ever, most cases, if not all cases, without ever even having to go to the store. Like you literally can use two things that you have laying around the house to hang pretty much anything on your wall and of any size at that. So I came up with this really um, just helpful way for me to hang anything on my wall that I want to, regardless of size. And not only that, to make sure that whenever I do get around to taking it down, it's not going to leave behind a mess, basically, or a hole, then now I have to figure out how to fix that hole. It's nuts. So here is my personal Mayday trick, and I want to share that with you. So I went to the store, brand new painting. Problem is it's super big. And again, I'm having to figure out how to get this painting from laying on the ground <laughs> to being on my wall. So I bought this painting here and as you can see, it's already on my wall. So right now I have it hung up. I've actually had this painting since last year and this whole time it hasn't fallen, not once. It doesn't even shake, you know, with the, with the method that I use to hang up pretty much anything that is on my wall. Stick around if you want to learn how to easily hang things on your wall without ever leaving a mark, without ever having to go to the store, without ever having to spend any money. Literally, you don't have to spend any money. You can literally use the things that are laying around in your house. So for this video, because I already hung up that giant painting, I'm not going to take it down. Uh, that would just, no, not really be necessary. So for this video, we're going to be hanging this up. I'm going to be showing you how to do this by hanging this picture up. Again, no tools needed, no stickers needed, and no mess, which is the best part at the end of your little DIY project. Okay, so let's get started with the tools that you'll need in order to get this little task accomplished. So the first thing that I have here is a candle, right? And I use this candle mainly because it has a flat bottom, but you can really use anything. If you're going to use a candle, a small candle such as this one, just be really careful because this is made out of glass. And for what we're going to do, you're going to want to make sure that you're careful when you're using this as your tool, essentially. Uh, but this is what I use and it works perfectly because it's not too harsh. And again, it has this flat bottom, which we will need, but you can really use anything as long as it has a flat bottom. So anything laying around your house. The next thing that we'll need is some push pins, right? And so as long as you have some a few push pins, you can get it from anywhere. If you don't already have some laying around the house, if you go to the office or something like that, or if you already have some laying around the house, you can use those, any push pins, as long as they're push pins, any color, is fine. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, take those two things, your push pin and the flat bottom, and you're going to want to use the flat bottom to push the push pin into the wall.
when you're doing this, you want to make sure to hit the use the bottom. If you're using a bottle or a glass, you want to make sure to not hit too hard because honestly, it's not going to be necessary because it's a push pin. It, it goes in quite easily. This is going to work with most walls, whether you live in an apartment or in a house. It really doesn't matter because most houses and most apartments are made out of similar things. So unless you're trying to hang something up on a brick wall, this pretty much works with all walls. I've got both of the push pins fastened in there. And I decided to go with two push pins this time because I just wanted to make sure that the picture would be secure and I wouldn't have to worry about it anymore once I hang it up. And I hung them right next to each other. How do I go about making sure that the picture is parallel on the wall when I hang it up if I do decide to use two, three, or four push pens? And one trick that I like to use in order to get this done and make sure that the picture is parallel whenever I do hang it up is when I hang up the first push pin, then I'll use the second push pin to kind of lightly slide across almost like midway. And then I do the same thing and I put that push pin in there. And then I might grab a third push pin and lightly slide it across and push it in there. And even though it might not look like it's all the way aligned, it is. Usually, visually, it's hard to tell. But if you use a second push pin and you just like, and you lightly push it against the wall, and drag it across slowly to the point where you want to stop and you just uh, fasten, fasten the push pin in there, you'll end up with a picture of it's hanging, looking really nice and parallel. I have fastened or put the push pins on the wall. So let's go ahead and hang it up and see what this ends up looking like. I get a feel for the back there but it's pretty easy once you get to the hanging it up phase as you can see I kind of just like got a feel for it and I, I just kind of hung it up just like that and as you can see you end up with a pretty parallel picture it's, it's hung up it looks nice Even for this giant picture, I know it might be hard to tell in the video, but even for this giant picture, and this picture, you guys, is pretty heavy, actually, and it costs, it costs me about $400 for this picture. So that tells you how big this picture must be, and also pretty sturdy, pretty heavy. I use push pins to secure this picture in place, and this picture has been in place since last year. It hasn't moved, it hasn't done anything, but all I did was increase the number of push pins that I was using in order to make sure that the push pins could support the weight of the picture. So with this picture, I used five push pins in order to make sure that whenever I do hang the picture, it is on there, hanging really nicely and uh, parallel and secure. For the bigger pictures, the only the only other aspect to be aware of is that it could take you just a little bit longer, so maybe 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that the picture is parallel. So it has nothing to do with hanging the picture. You'll do that just fine, but we need to make sure that we're correctly uh, distancing one push pin from the other. So whenever we do hang up the picture, it's parallel. So you might have to do it once or twice before, uh, you know, adjusting it in the way that you'd like. But that's about it. The process otherwise is exactly the same. The thing I love the most about this is how easy it is when it's time for the picture to come down. If I want to like replace one picture with another picture, then it's so easy for me. If I live in an apartment and the pictures have to come down because I'm moving, I don't have to worry about 
fixing a whole bunch of walls around my apartment, or if I used something sticky on the walls, worrying about having to repaint the walls. I don't have to worry about anything. I literally just take the picture down and take the push pin out. That's it. You can't even see it, you guys. It's so tiny that it, it literally makes no difference. There is a tiny little bitty thing here, but you can't even see it. It's really nothing that you'd be able to do anything about anyway. So the most you'd have to do is literally take the push pin out and that's it. Voila, you're done. And that's the little mark that it leaves. Apart from that, that's about it. Once you zoom out, you can see that there's really nothing to fix. If you enjoyed this video and found it at all helpful, go ahead and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I love making these types of videos that are helpful for you. It's kind of like, um, you know, just trying to be creative, especially when it comes to everyday things. Let me know if you like this video, if you'd like to see more content like this. I have tons of them, things that I've developed just off of necessity and living by myself for so long. So just let me know and I will definitely post more videos like this for you. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.